Hi, I'm Janet Petro, the director of NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Hop in and let me show you what we're doing at Earth's premier spaceport. Let's go fly. Our spaceport is proud to support the agency's goals to return to the moon in preparation for Mars. Our cooperation with commercial companies and international partners is greater than ever before as NASA embarks on a new and exciting era of space exploration. At Launch Complex 39B, the uncrewed launch of Artemis 1 was an exciting first step on our way back to the moon. Now, we are hard at work preparing the hardware, systems, and processes for the crew Artemis II mission. Artemis II will prove the Orion spacecraft and the Space Launch System rocket when the four astronaut crew ventures around the moon on a 10-day flight and returns safely to Earth. Meanwhile, we are launching missions to the International Space Station continuing the research that helps us solve problems on Earth while proving capabilities we need for long-duration human space exploration. The microgravity, low Earth orbit, offers a unique environment to study disease formation, test diagnostic tools and treatments, and advanced technologies like computers and robotics. NASA and our commercial partners are expanding the ability to launch crews, science, and cargo to the orbiting laboratory, which will ensure sustainable operations on the station for years to come. Nearby, in the Space Systems Processing Facility, teams are developing other exciting technologies we will need to live and work on the moon. Plant researchers are experimenting with new ways to grow food in space and engineers are working on projects like 3D printing capability to build structures on the moon, rovers and instruments to find resources to help sustain a long-term presence, and electrodynamic dust shield technology that can repel the abrasive moon dust to protect our astronauts, their vehicles, and sensitive equipment. NASA's commercial providers help us launch a range of science missions that study our Earth, explore other planetary bodies, and reveal more about the origins of life and our universe. NASA works with both emerging and established commercial providers for launch and landing opportunities. These efforts benefit the U.S. economy and help grow the commercial market. By helping commercialize low Earth and cislunar orbits, NASA can reduce the cost to explore space and maximize benefits here on Earth. Another Kennedy team in the Space Systems Processing Facility is developing NASA's deep space commercial supply chain to procure the services needed to transport cargo, equipment, and consumables needed for human exploration of the moon and Mars. For Artemis 3 and beyond, NASA will rely on commercial partners to support a regular cadence of moon landings. Our commercial partners are doing exciting work to develop the next generation of spacecraft and landers. The spaceport offers a prime location for companies like these to consolidate their manufacturing, testing, integration, and launch services in one location, helping them save costs while leveraging the spaceport's unique expertise and capabilities. Kennedy has supported growth at the spaceport through key power, water, and transportation upgrades and investments in fiber telecommunications. Through our master planning process, we will continue to forecast and plan improvements to enable responsible development into the future. And I couldn't be more proud of all the people at the Kennedy Space Center who make this all happen. You know, the processing, the integration, the launch operations, all carefully working together with our partners, with the Space Force, and with our NASA programs. The future's coming fast. Kennedy Space Center is leading the way. We're not just launching humanity's future, we're launching to the moon and beyond.